This lesson is an introductory explanation to the Declaration of Arrays. Like just about everything else in Java, they're objects, but they're special objects and you declare them in a special way. This is the declaration of a reference to an array. It's not an array, it's a location in memory where we will be able to put an array. This statement creates an actual array of integers and stores its address in the reference declared earlier. We now have an array. This is an array of 10 integers, all initialized to zero. An array of objects is declared the same way. First, we declare a reference to an array of the objects, and then a declaration is made of an array of object references. We still don't have any rectangles. What we have after this statement is the stored address of an array of rectangle references. All the references are initialized to null. These three statements create the actual rectangle objects and store them in the array of references. Note that array subscripts always begin with zero. This is because Java subscripts are thought of as offset values and the offset from the beginning of an array to the first member of the array is always zero. So we declare an array of size three but the largest index value is two. More about this later. This statement declares an array of double data items and provides them with initial values. Notice that the brackets are on the type declaration rather than the name as was done earlier. You can put them in either place. Java doesn't care. But this array declaration has a set of initial values provided for it. This instructs the compiler to create an actual array of doubles and store the values for them in the array. It's just a shorthand for writing all the individual statements. The size of the array is determined by the number of initial values included in the braces. Arrays are always a fixed size. Once you've created one, you can't change its size. The only way to change the size of an array is to create a new array and replace the old one. Every array object has a length attribute that you can use to determine the number of members it contains. Here we copy the value of the length of harv into a new variable named length of array. A call is then made to system out print line which displays the text form of anything provided to it. This method takes advantage of the fact that everything in Java can be converted to a string. In this example, the number four is displayed because that is the number of members of the array. Multidimensional arrays are declared by having more than one set of brackets on the declaration. This example is a two-dimensional array. You can declare the actual array by using the new keyword and providing the actual sizes you want. In this case, this code declares a 5 by 10 grid of 50 integers, all initialized to zero. That's a look at the fundamentals of arrays. In Java, you must declare a reference to hold the address of the array, then create the actual array and store the address there. We'll be doing more with arrays in the near future.